Hello everyone, my name is S Comic Maker, and today I'm going to be attempting to draw as many Pokemon as I can in 25 minutes in honor of the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Let's get started. Twenty-five years of Pokemon. <laughs> Oh man, I can hardly believe it. As many of you guys know, if you've seen some of my other videos, I love Pokemon. And when I say I love Pokemon, I mean I really love Pokemon. Game. game. Many game. Pokemon game. game. Oh look, another game. 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 Cards. 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 Oh look, another game. Wee. Spin. Whee. Spinny spin. Many Pokemon Cards. games. Spin. My god, look at all the Pika. Pokemon. Some people have Pika. cats. S Pika comic Pika maker Pika. has Pokemon. Pika. Mon. Pika I heard you like Pokemon. Pika. Pokemon Mon Mon. Meow. Squirtle Squirt. Bulba. Pika. Pikachu. Pika. Eevee. 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 Pika. Angway Boy. Pika. Pikachu. Ditto. I've been playing since Red on the Game Boy and I have not stopped since. So I'm really excited for all of the anniversary stuff coming out this year. And while I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, I came across a challenge started by the lovely Caroline Director, where she drew as many little pocket monsters as she could in 25 minutes. Since then, I've seen her share other people's attempts to take up the challenge as well. The more I look at these, the more the itch to try the challenge for myself really started to get to me and I just had to try. It. But as comic maker, how are you going to draw so many Pokemon in such a little amount of time? I mean, even if you gave yourself two minutes per Pokemon, you could barely get 12 in there. Well, Banana Man, it sounds to me like we're going to need a good old anime training arc. Okay, so starting off for this part, I really just wanted to see what I could do with the time given. So I started off by picking some of the more basic and easy to draw Pokemon and drawing them first. Caroline had color with her, so I wanted to see how much I could do with that as well. The biggest issue here is that I couldn't rely on my biggest crutch, which is sketching. Sketching and planning out poses takes a lot of time that I of course didn't have, so instead I decided to try to just go straight with the line art and then fill in the colors. And once the timer started, I was already tripping myself up with the drawing. I was panicky and drawing on the wrong layers, and it was a mess. By the end of it, I only drew five five and a half very wobbly looking Pokemon, but I did get most of them colored so it wasn't too bad. But starting off this way gave me a couple clues as to how I could be more efficient next time. Firstly, color was out. So I started a second attempt, but this time I wanted to make it more personal. This time I made a list of 25 of my favorite Pokemon and decided that I was going to draw them without coloring and with as little sketching as possible. Being focused and panicked to draw as many Pokemon as I could in the time limit made me want to default to drawing exactly what I saw from the reference images I was using, but I really wanted to try and give them unique poses, which I kind of struggled with as I went along. There were many Pokemon on my list, like Ho-Oh that I had to skip entirely because I just did not have enough time. Probably should have skipped Gyarados too for that reason, but I just couldn't do it. On the second attempt, I ended up drawing 12 Pokemon in 25 minutes, which was about 2 minutes per Pokemon, but after completing this time and knowing that there were moments where I spent too much time on sketching, especially with the first couple Pokemon, I knew that I could do more. So it was time for another training montage. J just kidding. I just took a break and tried again the next day. I just got back into it with another round and really tried to do my best to not sketch and just draw them to the best of my ability, flaws and all. This was so hard for me to do. As I said before, I rely a lot on sketching, so I considered this good practice to get out of my comfort zone and just draw. For the Pokemon I chose on this list of 25, I tried going through each gen and picking a couple Pokemon which proved to be super difficult. 
There are so many in Gen 1 that I have nostalgic memories playing with toys and having them on my team and half of this list could probably have been from Gen 1 alone, but I tried to pick some based on designs that I like or just the fact that I genuinely liked some of them in general. Not all of them got drawn from my list and the list wasn't in order of my top favorites or anything like that, but if you were curious about my full list, it was Wartortle, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Growlithe, Farfetch'd, Gengar, Red Gyarados, Jolteon, Snorlax, Totodile, Ampharos, Ho-Oh, Swablu, Shinx, Shaman, Trubbish, Scraggy, Emolga, Fennekin, Amora, Mimikyu, Scorbunny, Corviknight, Nickit, and Appleton. There are so many more Pokemon that I love, and it's hard in general for me to make lists like this, especially when there are currently 898 stinking Pokemon, but I did my best and I had a lot of fun trying to figure out this challenge. In the end, I was able to draw a total of 18 Pokemon in 20 25 minutes, which was way more than I thought I would be able to do. If anything, I thought 15 would end up being my limit. Some of them are a little wonky and weird looking, but I'm happy with what I was able to doodle with this one. And I know this is a silly challenge to do and might have taken it a bit too seriously, but I really wanted to give this a good try. Pokemon means a lot to me. Some of my best memories from my childhood were trading and playing with my sisters or my friends, being genuinely excited to see what new Pokemon were going to come out with each generation, and I don't know, it just makes me excited to know that there's something that was a huge part of my childhood that I will have the opportunity to share with my kids in the future. But anyway, I wanted to give a special thank you to Caroline Director for making a fun way to celebrate this 25th anniversary. I've mentioned Caroline before on this channel, and if you want to see her work, you can check out all of her social media in the description. And if you try out this challenge yourself, be sure to tag her in it. I even made a video about a Pikachu book that she put together a while back. If you want to check out any of that or any other Pokemon videos that I've made before, I'll leave an iCard here where you can watch them. But that's it for this one, guys. What are some of your favorite Pokemon? If you could pick your top three or five, what would they be? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much to my amazing Banana members and people like you for liking, commenting on, and sharing my videos. I appreciate you all stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye, guys.